Hello everyone, Colin Kinnett here for Woodwork Web. Welcome to our number four in the beginner series and today we're going to make you an expert on the bandsaw in five minutes. So let's talk about how to set up your bandsaw properly. Now before we do anything on the bandsaw we make sure that we unplug the unit. So let's take a minute to have a look at the back of most bandsaws. There's usually, uh, at, at the back or near the top, there will be a control to tension the blade. There's often a guide that helps you determine on the width of blade that you have where to tension. There's usually a little lever that goes back and forth in here. These are not the best and the reason for that is because some manufacturers blades are a tiny bit longer or a tiny bit shorter than others and that makes these only useful as a guideline. The most important thing at the back of a bandsaw is there will be an, some sort of an adjustment, in this case it's a knob, that will control the tilt of the bandsaw wheel, the top wheel, and that is what's going to control where the bandsaw band sits on the wheel. So let's have a look at that. So if we look at the front, the very front of the bandsaw wheel, here's the gullet right there, there's the bottom of the gullet, and it wants to be right in line with the center of that wheel. So there's the top wheel, and when you spin it, I'm going to adjust this little knob at the back, and you will see, see how that band, notice how it's moved right to the edge? And if I adjust it another way, and just keep spinning it, and this is what you need to do, keep spinning it until the band adjusts, and where you want the band to sit on the wheels, the, the gullet of the blade wants to sit at the center of the wheels. So now when we spin this blade it's running free and it's, it's positioned properly on the wheels, on the tires. Now the next thing to set are the two guides. In this case I've got some steel guides and these want to be behind the gullet. These blade guides never want to touch the blade because if they touch the blade um, it's going to dull the blade instantly. Uh, that's in position right there and I'm just going to tighten that up now. On this bandsaw it has a couple of set screws that we can use to adjust this and you can see in the back there just those two, and I want to set them just so that they're not touching, but just right there. Now the thrust bearing also has a little set screw, and it moves back and forth, and when the blade is pushed into the thrust bearing, this is to take up any of the, the pressure. So the, the thrust bearing wants to be just, it doesn't want to be touching that, it just wants to be just the thickness of a, a piece of paper or something. Um, you can just see that just barely right there. Not quite touching. So there's the two blade guides and there's the thrust bearing and I need to do the same adjustment as I did on and the last piece to put on is the blade guard that I took off initially and that's all it is to setting up a bandsaw now in a moment we're going to close the doors and we're going to plug it in and when we run it we shouldn't hear any uh, any particular noise, any rubbing anywhere. Now before we turn the saw on, the last thing we want to check is the tension of the blade. And I get asked this a lot. How do I check the tension? If you hit it with your finger, it shouldn't deflect any more than an eighth of an inch. So let's show you a close-up of that. So there's a close-up of the blade. Remember we're still unplugged. What we want to do to, to, to check the tension is to hit it with our finger 
and there should be about a sixteenth of an inch play on each side, just a little bit. So in total, an eighth of an inch play, or I think about three millimeters play. Now when we turn it on, it runs just quietly. It's not touching anything anywhere. So that means it's set up properly and it's all ready to start cutting wood now. Once you set up the bandsaw properly, you're going to get far better cuts and more consistent cuts. So, I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and stay tuned for our next beginner series.